Hello everyone I hope you all are doing very well welcome to this edition of discussion on the hindu dated 29th october 2022 and we bring to you some of the major articles from the newspaper today let's begin with our today's edition from page number 1 and 8 from gs2 indian polity we have an article about the unlawful activities prevention act uapa so the article is headlined as uapa gave an impetus to fight against terror says prime minister modi now recently a prime minister said that central laws such as unlawful activities prevention act had given an impetus to the system in decisive fight against terrorism from this article you have to know about the unlawful activities prevention act uapa and also what are the criticisms associated with it also with this you have to know about the key features of the unlawful activities prevention act amendment bill 2019 all right moving further on page number 1 and 2 from gs2 indian polity the article is headlined as plea in high court challenges delimination of the civic wards now recently the delhi high court asked the center the delhi government and the center appointed delimination committee for their response to a plea against the final report on the demarcation of the municipal wards in the city So Congress leaders petition highlights disparity in terms of population of wards from this article you have to know about the constitutional provisions of the demarcation of municipal wards in the city and also with this you have to know about urban local bodies and about the 74th constitutional amendment act Moving on on page number 1 and 8 from GS2 again from Indian Polity another article plea to protect Tulu Kodava languages in Kannada bill so here we are talking about the Kannada language comprehensive development bill 2022 from this article you have to know about the kannada language comprehensive development bill and what is the aim and objective of this particular bill with this you have to know about the key features and also the criticisms related to the bill moving on on page number 6 from gs2 international relations the article is headlined as careless threats now it says the war in ukraine is threatening to escalate beyond anyone's control from here you have to know about the russia ukraine war and the global issues and also what is nuclear terrorism further on you have to know about the conflict between russia and nato moving on on page number 6 from gs2 governance the article is headlined as the death penalty and humanizing criminal justice so from this article you have to know about the supreme court's position on death penalty in india and also what are the arguments in favor and also the arguments against the death penalty also what is the global scenario in relation to the death penalty and what can be the possible scenario ahead now moving on on page number 6 from gs3 environment sector the article is about conference of parties 27 so at cop 27 move the needle on climate action this article is written by mr vinod thomas from here you have to know about the highlights of cop 21 paris agreement 2015 and cop 26 notable glasgow agreement of 2021 Further on you also have to know what is the net zero emissions and India's path towards it there's another term panchamrit strategy so you have to know what is India's panchamrit strategy all right moving on on page number 8 from gs2 indian polity the article is headlined as congress says election commission does not have jurisdiction to regulate freebies so again an article on freebies from here you have to know exactly what are freebies also the issues with the irrational freebies and supreme court's directions over the issue moreover the role of the election commission in this regard and what can be the possible scenario ahead all right moving on on page number 9 from gs2 indian polity the article is headlined as twitter must act against hate speech says rahul gandhi so from this article you have to know about the issues associated with hate speech in india and also what are the constitutional provisions associated with it all right moving on on page number 10 from gs2 governance sector the article is headlined as one nation one police uniform is ideal says prime minister modi from this article you have to know what is the rationale behind the proposal of one nation one police uniform all right moving further on page number 10 from gs2 indian polity the article is headlined as panel raises data privacy concerns in draft telecom law So recently the parliamentary standing committee on information and technology raised several questions on implication on the data privacy of citizens with vague definitions of public interest and national security in the draft Indian Telecom Communication Act 2022. So from this article you have to know about the key features of the proposed draft of the telecom policy and the concerns over possible dilution of powers of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India that is TRAI. and with this what is the possible scenario ahead all right moving further on page number 10 from gs2 health sector now this article is about tb so 21.4 lakh tb cases notified in india in 2021 says the health ministry 
Now, according to the data by the Health Ministry, India's tuberculosis incidence for the year 2021 is 210 per 1 lakh population compared to the baseline year of 2015 where it was 256 per lakh population in India. So, there has been an 18% decline which is 7 percentage points better than the global average of 11%. So, from this article, you have to know what are the causes, transmission, symptom, diagnosis and treatment for tuberculosis and what is India's TB burden. With this, also know about the Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan and what is the possible scenario ahead. Alright. So, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Headlines of the Day, The Hindu. I hope you like the video. I will see you with some other video. Till then, take care and do stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs>